all right what's up there youtubers it's your girl Shay Skyler and I'm back for another video so today I'm going to be talking about styles that you can do with a not so good braid out twist out any out that you attempt to do with your natural hair and I have difficulty but I came up with a few styles that I like and I want to share with you guys so I hope you enjoy All right, beauties, so my first style is going to be this side faux hawk that I've been rocking since I took out my brace this morning. And all I did was just take my hair and pin it to the side with some bobby pins. I really didn't um, start this tutorial by the time I did this style, but I just swooped it to the side, grabbed about 10 to 15 bobby pins and just pinned it and I used gel to switch the sides over and a brush. My next style, I just let my hair out and I'm just going to pin the front portion. You can either use half or use just the middle section of your hair and use that as a bang. And then you're gonna take bobby pins and you're gonna pin that in place. I have about 10 million of those things and I just, natural girls, we just lose those things. They just disappear, but we're gonna pin it, get it in there, then you're gonna fluff it, then you're gonna take your hair in the back and you can either do a high puff or a high bun, but I'm going to do it as a high puff. So I'm just gonna fluff it out and then I'm going to pin my high puff. And you can either A, do this with bobby pins, or B, you can use a scrunchie. But I'm gonna use bobby pins because I don't have any scrunchies next to me. So you're just gonna pin that up. And then voila, you have your look. Now, my hair is short in the front, but there's a lot of portions that's long, so you can play with it and get it how you want it. Um, you know, if you want it long, want your veins long, or want your veins short, but I'm just gonna stick with the long with my length. Off to the third style, I put two, but off to three. Oh, I did. <laughs> my third style, okay, this is gonna be your half up, half down, and I actually love this style in A, straight hair, or B, when I rock my curly hair. But today I'm gonna be doing it with my curly hair, part in that curl that was all tangled. But I'm just going to pin the back portion, move that hair. It doesn't have to be a neat part. And then I'm just going to twist my hair in the front. Now, this style works, especially when you feel as if, especially in Miami, when the humidity it to your curls and you feel like your hair is puffing and you don't really have a scrunchie but you do have bobby pins you can just twist your hair and when it looks loose in the front with my top portion all you do is just take more bobby pins and then you're going to pin that down so it can be flatter and that's all bobby pins are miracle workers guys Oop. All right, so we're off to style number four. All right guys, so I'm just shaking it out. I took my bobby pins out and I'm going to just pin my front portion back. Now this is the style that I'll do if I'm really feeling my curls, but because of the heat damage that I have towards the front of my hair, it doesn't really flow with the curl pattern that I have going on in the back. I'm just going to pin that front portion back and then just um, either A, take my pick and pick my hair out to make it bigger or take my comb or I can just take my hands and fluff it out. Now you can tell my curls are kind of looser in this video because I did have this braid out since the morning and I was combing it out and taking it out and playing with my hair. But yep, style number four. All right guys, so for style number five, all I'm going to do is just take my bobby pins and I'm going to pin my hair as if, well, I am doing a fro hawk. So for this style, you would need about 
I would say 10 to 20 bobby pins, depending on the length of your hair. I'm gonna use about 10, five on each side, and I'm just gonna pin both sides. And this is actually gonna give you that frill hop style. And I love this style when I'm actually doing like a, a, a looser curl. Let's say if I did like a flat twist style, I like the curls that it gives me to do the style. Also with my braid outs, but with my braid outs, my frill hops are super big. So I'm just gonna pin the other side. We need tons of bobby pins, guys. Pin it up, pin it up, pin it up. They got all tangled. I hate that when they get all connected. But yeah, so you're just gonna pin it and then you'll have your frill hop and you can fluff it and do as you will. Fluff. And you can either keep the hairpin that you pinned from the previous out in the front or you can use that as a bigger bang. And yes, for this color. But you can't go wrong with the full frill hop. And all you're gonna do is just take your brush when you're finished and um, you can brush up your sides. But you see me playing with the front area to see if I want it as a bang or if I wanna keep it as is. Because remember, I do have heat damage in the front, but if you don't, you can rock the whole thing. But I love this style. This is definitely a go-to. All right, guys, so we're gonna move on to number six. This is actually six or seven. This style right here is just my top puff. And I do this with a scrunchie. A lot of people do it with something stretchy and elastic, but I feel like scrunchies work for me because I'm just putting it towards the front and I'll just take bobby pins and get the area in the back, like that hump that you see, and then I'll tighten that with bobby pins. But I love this style. And my next one, is going to be my top one. Now, you guys know I'm a top one queen. I love top ones, they are my go-to style. They are freaking amazing and they're super quick. This is if you, you know, if you're tired of your hair with the braid out or whatever curl you got going on and you just take a scrunchie and you just twist the scrunchie about two to three times and you wrap the rest of the hair that's out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope these styles are productive and well needed in your journey of curly natural hair. Love you guys. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Bye.